Fetal alcohol spectrum disorder, or FASD, is an umbrella term used to describe the physical and intellectual abnormalities in a child born to a mother who consumed alcohol during pregnancy. So how does alcohol get to the child? When a mother consumes alcohol, it travels from her stomach to the bloodstream. The ethanol molecules in the alcohol are polar and small, which means that they can cross membrane barriers. These molecules diffuse across the epithelial lining of the stomach, across the interstitial space, and into the blood capillaries. Once in the bloodstream, the alcohol travels to the placenta, which separates the mother's blood supply from the fetus's. The alcohol then diffuses into the fetus's blood supply. This poses a problem because while the mother will be able to metabolize and break down the alcohol, the fetus will maintain a high blood alcohol concentration for prolonged periods due to reduced ability to metabolize substances. There are several ways by which alcohol can harm the fetus. I'm going to discuss its effects on the heart and brain. Before I get into that, it is important to understand the metabolism of alcohol. Metabolism of ethanol starts by breaking ethanol down into acetaldehyde. Presence of acetaldehyde can greatly affect the fetal heart. Acetaldehyde prevents the metabolism of vitamin A, or retinol, into retinoic acid, which is a compound that is critical to early cardiac development. Any deviation from the normal amount of retinoic acid in the mother's body can have devastating effects on the embryo's developing heart. The second step for ethanol metabolization is to break the acetaldehyde down into acetate. Both metabolic steps create the byproduct of NADH, which leads to oxidative stress. Oxidative stress is the excessive formation of reactive oxygen species, or ROS, shown by the green molecules, which is known to cause cell death. Antioxidants, characterized by the white molecules, can be used to limit ROS formation. However, alcohol consumption can increase ROS to a level that overwhelms the body's natural defenses. Too much ROS formation is particularly dangerous for the fetal brain because the fetal brain is actively engaged in neurogenesis, or the formation of new brain cells. Damage to the neurons at this early stage can lead to lifelong learning and behavioral struggles as there is no treatment for the disorder. We need to do a better job as a society to spread awareness about FASD and the effects it has on people. People need to know that there's no known amount of alcohol that is safe during pregnancy, no time during pregnancy in which it is safe to drink, and no alcoholic drink that is safe during pregnancy. FASD is more prevalent than Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, SIDS, cystic fibrosis, and spina bifida combined, and it is the only one that is 100% preventable.